Anno Bransma was born at Balsford in the Netherlands in 1881. He joined the Carmelite order as a young man, taking his father's name, Titus. He was ordained priest in 1905 and obtained a doctorate in philosophy in Rome. He then taught in various schools in Holland and was named Professor of Philosophy and of the History of Mysticism in the Catholic University of Nijmegen, where he also served as Rector Magnificus. He was known for his constant availability to everyone. Titus was also a professional journalist and in 1935 he was appointed ecclesiastical advisor to Catholic journalists. During the 1930s he visited Ireland and stayed in Whitefriar Street in Kinsale with the Carmelite communities there to improve his English before giving a series of lectures in the United States. When the Nazis invaded the Netherlands in 1940, the Catholic bishops named Titus as the spokesman for the freedom of Catholic education and the press. He did his job seriously and effectively. Father Bransma, who was a prolific writer, published in scores of publications, had publicly opposed Nazi ideology since 1933 when Hitler came to power in Germany. In July 1941, Ransma authored a pastoral letter on behalf of the bishops, which was read in all Catholic parishes. Soon after, he was arrested and condemned as an enemy of the state and sent to a succession of prisons and concentration camps, where he is said to have brought comfort and peace to his fellow prisoners and did good even to his tormentors. During these difficult times, far from questioning or losing his faith, Titus drew closer to God. He wrote about prison life while at Dachau. Blessed solitude, I am quite at home in this small cell. I never get bored here, just the contrary. I am certainly alone, but never was our Lord so near to me. I could shout for joy, because now, when I cannot go to the people, nor the people come to me, he reveals himself to me so often. Now he is my only refuge, and I feel so secure and happy. If he ordered it, I would stay here forever. In 1942, after much suffering and humiliation, the camp doctor assigned to Bransma's case ordered that his patient, now dying of terminal renal failure, be given a lethal injection administered by a camp nurse. This woman, a lapsed Catholic, survived the war and having at that time returned to her faith testified to Bransma's cause. She recalled his last moments, that he was kind and gave her his only personal possession, a crude rosary made and given to Bransma by another Dutch prisoner who had been executed. Titus Bransma was beatified by John Paul II on November the 3rd, 1985, and his cause for canonization is still ongoing. In our day, the message of Titus 
is still relevant and challenging. He encourages us to work for justice for all God's children and to never lose hope. Lord our God, source and giver of life, you gave to blessed Titus the spirit of courage to proclaim human dignity and the freedom of the church, even in the throes of degrading persecution and death. Grant us that same spirit so that in the coming of your kingdom of justice and peace, we might never be ashamed of the gospel, but be enabled to recognize your loving kindness in all the events of our lives. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.